Kingsley with you again. I'm still up in Eisenhower Park I'm walking around in the sunshine. It's quite cool today but it's beautifully warm in the sunshine. What a wonderful day. What a blessing to be out here on the hills. We're looking at the story of Jesus where we'll see where he falls asleep in the boat but he's been teaching all day and I suggested the first day that maybe at even time he he can tell us to move even in the even in time of our life God might want us to move do something different go to the other side yesterday I looked at that little phrase as he was they took Jesus with him in the boat as he was today's verse is verse 37 and a great windstorm arose and the waves broke into the boat is that right the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling. Sorry, I haven't got my glasses on this morning. I tried to read it big so I could read it without glasses. I haven't got a lens or anything in. So I think that's what it says. And a great windstorm arose and the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling. Now, I don't know, in between the place where you're hearing about the miracles, you're listening to Jesus, in between the place where he wakes up and sorts everything out. There might be a time in your life and my life we, life we could describe it like this. And a great windstorm arose. They didn't cause the windstorm. It wasn't anything they did that made it arise. It just arose. And sometimes there are things that happen in our lives that we have no control over. And they come against us like this massive storm. And sometimes we don't know what to do. I mean, it says here that it was beating into the boat so it was already filling. So obviously they were trying to, I guess they got buckets, they were trying to get the water out, but the, but the boat was filling. So this must have been some mother of all storms. Now they tell me that the Sea of Galilee, I've been at the Sea of Galilee many times, and we have seen some, some bad weather come over it, but not like this. But apparently it can get like this, just in a moment. The, the Sea of Galilee is in a, it's a, sort of in a valley. So you've got high hills, mountains around it. And so it has its own little climate, really, the way that the, the, wind, the, the wind can circulate around it. It's not like other parts of, of Israel. It, it attracts its own sort of climate. And so here, something happened that caused these things to arise. And, and that does happen in the Sea of Galilee. Storms can arise very, very quickly. So here a storm has arose. I'm going to go a little bit different here. I hear people around me. A storm has arose that they've got no control over. And sometimes in our lives, things can happen. We've no control over them. What do we do? It's in between Jesus telling us to go to the other side and to the part where he comes and does the miracle. It's that in between bit. Let me read it again. A great windstorm arose and the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling, filling with water. Now, you know, if, if it had kept going like that, they would have sank. If the, if the boat gets so full of water, then uh, it'll come to the place where it cannot stay over the, over the water. It will sink. And so we come into times in our lives where we think, Lord, Lord if this continues like this, we're snookered. But at times like that, we've got to realize the one who calls us, the one who's with us, the one who looks after us will never let that happen to us. He cares for us, he will protect us, and he will be with us. This is a new path I'm going, I've not been on this, I don't think before. I don't know where I'm going actually. I hope I can find my way back, we'll see. Anyway, that's your verse for today. So I want to encourage you to hang on there when you find yourself in a place where there's a great windstorm. Maybe you're in that right now. Maybe you're in a place right now where you think, Lord, I'm snookered here, unless you intervene. I want to tell you that he is going to intervene. That's, that's the, the news I want to give you today. Okay, it might not be today. It might be tomorrow. It might be in a few months' time. But he will intervene, and he will look after you, and he will make it all right. So God, help us today, I pray, in our lives, when windstorm comes, when it beats on the boat, and the boat fills with water, and it looks like without a miracle, we're going to drown. Some of you have been there. Maybe it's an illness that comes along. And if God doesn't intervene, you're going to die. But you can trust him. And listen, the wonderful good news we have in Jesus 
is that even if we did die, we still win because we'll be with him forever. The sting is gone from death because we'll be forever with him. Isn't it wonderful for the child of God? All things work together for good and God will look after us. Lord, I pray today that as we are in the middle, somewhere between hearing the word, taking you as it stands, as taking you into the boat as you were, as you are, in between that and seeing you still the storm, there can be a time when the storm builds all around us and we don't know what's happening. And without your intervention, it looks like all is lost. So Lord, if there's anybody listening today and they're in that place, God, help them to hang on to you until the breakthrough comes. For those who are struggling physically, Lord, I pray be with them. Be the healer that comes alongside. Those who are struggling financially or mentally, Lord, be with them, would you, God? cause them to hold on to you. There is a day come. There is a new dawn coming. There is a breakthrough. And help us to believe that in Jesus' name. We believe for the breakthrough in Israel as well, that there will be a breakthrough. We will get through this. Pray for the big breakthrough in Ukraine, Lord, where it's almost harder to see an end. Lord, I pray that there will be a breakthrough. There will be a, a, a resolution to this. God, intervene, please, we pray, in these places in the world where there's so much trouble. And today, Lord, we choose to follow you. We choose to hold on to you even in the middle of the storm, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. Just stopped at a little seat in the middle of, I don't know where, but it's all good. I'll be back with you again tomorrow morning. God bless you. Mm -hmm.